everybody, let's talk very quickly about BitLogic. So I discovered this on the Nintendo Switch, but it's also on Steam. BitLogic is a HD update of an MSX game that you can also play with its, you know, MSX graphics. And it's an action semi-puzzle game where you control this avatar named Bit and you have to navigate them through these series of mazes and get past enemies, collect what seem to be cartridges, and then every once in a while collecting additional lives in order to go on to extra levels. You are very limited in some movements. You can walk, you can climb, you can't duck, you can't duck or jump, and you have a gun that has unlimited ammo and such. And I've played this for almost an hour now. I don't really like it all that much. There are some aspects about it that I do, others that I don't, in terms of control limitations. Like, I don't like that you can duck, especially, like, I mean, I don't like that you can't duck, especially when there are some enemies that are, you know, low to the ground, but some levels give you, well, the, the way that the levels are designed, where there's always some way around an enemy, other, other times you're just forced to have to take damage, and then other times the level is constructed so that you can take out those certain type of enemies, and other times you just try and have to get around them or have to accept taking a little bit of damage. And I don't really like that you are so limited in only being able to shoot in one direction. You can't jump and you can't just walk off of a ladder unless you've already walked off of an edge and you've landed on said ladder, then you can choose to drop again, but you can't fire your gun while you're on the ladder. You can't just drop off the ladder at any time. So a lot of the time to navigate a lot of the game, especially in some of the later levels and what I got to, I got about as far as probably level two or three where you're just in the sewers. Thankfully though, if you do die and you just go back to the beginning of said level, everything that you've collected up until that point, you already still have. So you don't have to recollect it. So that's nice. And, you know, and the game can be pretty generous with its lives and can be pretty generous with the difficulty. I did think it was funny how I think in some way the MSX version is a little bit easier than the HD version. I mean, the only big difference is that the HD version does give you a map option in-game that is a little bit easier to navigate than in the MSX version, but in the MSX version, enemies take less hits, and these alien robot-looking dudes, they don't regenerate either, which I think is interesting, because... Really, the deadliest enemies that I encountered were the flies. And, you know, overall, I mean, with its, with some of its difficulty and then just navigation in general and some of your limitations in terms of what you can do, like, I hate the fact that you can't aim up or really in any other direction especially in an HD version, when you think if you were going to touch up or maybe remake this game, that you'd maybe add or maybe even change some level aspects or maybe even add some, you know, add some new features to it, like an ability to jump or, I don't know. Uh, all in all, I mean, I think it's, I think it's an okay game. I don't think it's awful. I don't outright hate it. I do like what it's... I do like what it's doing. Uh, I'd never heard of it. Of course, I never owned an MSX. I was probably way too young to ever even know what the MSX was until many, many years ago. But, I mean, if you want to check this out, it is on Steam. It is on the Nintendo Switch. I believe it was about $10 from when I bought it. And I like the graphics, I like the music, uh, I uh, I certainly like the look of it. I do kind of prefer the MSX version compared to the HD, but they're both fully playable. I just kind of prefer the look and generally 
more of how the game works in the MSX version. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.